Hello, this is Linda from North Central Texas. I'm getting ready to plant or uh, transplant and root some more of these uh, mums that I was telling you about that I did in my last video. Like this one right here. Oh, if I can get down here. This pot right here. I just, I had some bulbs in there, but the, the pot stays too damp, so they weren't doing too good, so I took them out, and I broke off some more mums and stuck the mums down in there. And I've got another pot that I need to do that with. And as you can see, my mums are starting to bloom. They come up every year. I'm just going to break a couple off so I can put them in the other pot. And you might wonder, well, why did I buy a couple of pots of mums when I can root my own? Well, for the simple fact that it was so dry this summer that it was impossible to do that so this is the pot right here that i'm going to get these bulbs out of because it stays a little bit too moist they're self-watering pots for them to really grow too good so and the, the mums love moisture so what I'm going to do is put my mums in there. Put my mums in there because it stays moist enough that they will root. And with our rainy season coming upon us, this is the perfect time to root these. And I will put these um, pieces of I forgot the name of them, but they're the, the ones I buy every year and plant them. And they usually rot by the next year. Because <laughs> I guess where I put them, I keep too much water to them. So, I decided I put a few in these cinder blocks already because they stay a little bit drier there. And I don't have anything else in them anyway. So... I decided I was going to put some of them down in there. And if they live and come up next year, that's okay. And if they don't, then that's okay too. But I think they'll have a better chance of surviving the summer months in these. Let's see, I think I got a hole up here that doesn't have anything in it. Well, I can get this put down. But yeah, my video stopped on me, so I had to get back on here and try to finish it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I planted the mums in the pots that I needed to. And as you can see, I'm finishing up this video in the dark. <laughs> so, I think it was this pot up here that I was working on. And my camera went out on me. 
but I got that one in some cuttings for the mums. And it's a self-watering uh, pot, so it stays moist, so it should root pretty well. Because you do have to keep the, the dirt moist. You don't let it dry out, because if you let it dry out, then it's not going to root. And like I said, I put all the uh, little bulbs in those empty cinder blocks. I'm, I don't know that they'll survive through the winter, but I'm putting them there anyway, just in case. We had some heavy rain. And there's the mums I planted, what, yesterday, day before. So they're looking good. We had a heavy rain yesterday. High winds and thankfully no damage. We didn't get a tornado close to here, so... The radishes is doing good in that little pot. <laughs> doing fantastic in the dish pan. And there's the mums I also stuck down to root. So yeah, if you want to root mums, get you one decent pot of them. Especially the purple ones. Put them down in a pot that's going to stay moist, and they will root. And the, I have had the best luck with the purple mums coming up every year. I've tried the yellow, the orange, or the brown color. I've tried all of them. And the purple ones are the only ones that come up for me every year. One of these days, I'm going to have light strung around in my back, in the backyard, but that's the bulbs right there. That's the plant. And I've got bulbs in this pot, but I'm not pulling them out quite yet. We'll wait and see what happens with them. But it's the time of year now that, you know, they're going to die back because they live in the summertime. They don't, they don't like the fall and the winter. So. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So with that, I am going to go ahead and put this with the other, the first half of the video and hope that it worked out. <laughs> and we'll catch you the next time. Please like, share, and subscribe my videos. Subscribe to my videos.